Good morning, guys. Today we are going to talk about achieving financial projections, and this is the first in a long series of videos in which we're going to talk about this topic. And part one, which is what we're doing today, is going to talk about budgets and the benefits of budgets. If we are going to talk about achieving financial projections, we need to be clear on why we need financial projections. And if you've been following the work we've been doing on business planning, then you will understand that a key part of your business plan is your financial plan. And achieving your financial plan obviously involves extracting from that plan budgets and then working with the budgets. So budgets are key. So we're going to take just a few minutes today to talk about budgets. So if budget is a financial plan set in advance for a given period of time, and sounds a bit weird because I said financial plan, and now we're saying budget, and then we're saying the budget is the financial plan. But the way you should look at it is that the financial plan actually really well defined is actually broader than the budget because the financial plan also says something about our financial strategy. But the money elements, the specific money elements, the monies to be spent particularly, and the expectations of money that will be available will be derived from the budget. So let's say the financial plan we're using on this slide, small f, small p, is a, is a component of the main financial plan, big F, big P. So we have a plan that has talks about our financial strategy over the next one year, and then out of that we can extract a budget for the next quarter, for the next three months, for example. Everything begins with a thought, and your thoughts have to be expressed in plans and there is no difference in this area in the same way as generally in your business you need goals in this in managing your money you need goals again we have to keep referring back to the work we've been doing on business planning you have to understand that this is a small element but all these elements are linked together so the goals of your financial plan, of your budget, the resources that you are going to identify that you need and that you will spend and that you will earn in a period, the things that can go wrong, these are things that ought to have been partly defined in your big business plan, out of which this is an extract. So we need to have a goal. We need to be clear on the resources that will be required. We need to anticipate the risks. So let's take one of the business examples we've been using. So you are in the, let's say you are in the food manufacturing business. You manufacture snacks. You manufacture, say, plantain chips. You have a certain, you have a business plan about how you are going to expand in the market across Africa, for example. And out of that plan, which will involve many things, the operations, new partnerships, getting operational permits, and so on and so forth, you're doing all of that. And out of that comes a budget. So you say, okay, but in quarter one, I'm not going into Africa immediately. So in quarter one, I need to expand across northern Nigeria. And then with that as my quarter one plan, then I have a budget around that. And I identify risks because one of the issues I'm concerned about may be the supply of plantain. And I have to be aware about what the harvest period is, how the harvests are going, and what my suppliers are saying, and all of that. 
Remember when, when we were talking about business plans, we talked about analyzing suppliers. So that's something we're going to come back to. So that's the planning element of why we need a budget. We also have a controlling element of why we need a budget. And because after we have set our plans, we need ways to know that we are actually doing the right thing. So we need benchmarks. If my plan says, if everything is going according to plan, I need to spend 10 Naira in the next quarter. And that means maybe I need to spend 3 Naira in the next month. Then I should make 3 Naira available. And if I'm not spending, if I'm beginning to spend over 3 Naira just within a few days, then I have a problem if that was not the plan. In the same way, if I am spending less, that's not necessarily good news because I, we, may, we, we may simply not be performing. We may, we may be supposed to have bought certain things that we have not bought by the time we should have bought them. So it's not always a good thing to be below your budget. So that's the benchmark. Then delegation of authorities. Okay, so you yes, you may be a small business today, but you're going to be a big business tomorrow. And if you're going to be a big business tomorrow, you need to be able to delegate responsibility to other people. That means you need to be able, able to let other people spend money on behalf of the company. And it is the budget that controls that. Because if we have a budget of 10, 10 naira, 10 dollars, 10 pounds, 10 whatever. And let's say that spare parts for our plantain fryer we've, has been budgeted. So we have a certain amount of money we expect to spend on maintenance for the plantain fryer. Since we're in the plantain production or the plantain chip production business. Then obviously you as the head do not necessarily have to monitor that yourself you already have a budget that indicates the amount of money that should be spent on spare parts and on maintenance and this you have you've got this information right from the market from the person who will do the work from your previous experience and all of that you can then actually leave those decisions to somebody else so that you can go and think about other things because you know that you have set the necessary uh, benchmarks and the, uh, and uh, have controlled the scope of expenditure for that area. Budgets are great things. You need a budget, just like you need a plan. Of course, you need a plan first, then you have a budget. You want to create cost consciousness. You want everybody in the company to be aware of the fact that, hey, things cost money. We need to find ways to reduce the amount we're spending. There's a finite amount of money. There's a limited amount of money available, guys. So let's work within that. It promotes teamwork because everybody then feels that they are part of something and they, their decisions matter because their decisions can impact the overall budget of the company. And it improves communication because you can explain why you are making certain decisions. Um, instead of just saying it has to be this way or the other way. So some thoughts on budgets. Um, quick uh, summary. So a budget is a, like a small, you know, a shorter term view of your overall financial plan that just talks about the monies that will be spent and makes assumptions about monies that will be available. And you need it to, for good planning as well as then for controlling and for delegating. Um, and it improves cost consciousness, teamwork, and communication. Thank you for listening.